At the federal level, there are many divers at different agencies who work in law enforcement. Bobby Chacon is a special agent with the Federal Bureau of Investigation and head of the agency's dive team. My name is Bobby Chacon and I'm an FBI agent. I'm the senior team leader for the FBI's underwater search and evidence response team in Los Angeles and I've been diving for 25 years. I first became, I first got interested in working for the FBI while I was in law school. My dad was a police officer in New York City and uh, so I was always drawn to law enforcement and while I was in law school the FBI came around to a recruiting day at the law school and uh, I filed an application right away. So it was fairly difficult to be hired by the FBI because there's an extensive background check which took about two years um, and then there's a written test that you have to take and pass and then there's a physical, a series of physical tests that you have to take and pass also and then you have to go through a physical uh, from a doctor to show that you're uh, physically capable and then the physical tests, sit-ups, sit running, push-ups, things like that, you also have to go and you have to pass. Uh, all this while they're giving you, while they're conducting your background investigation to make sure your record is clean and things like that. The FBI's dive teams are formed as uh, underwater evidence crime scenes teams, basically. We're forensically trained. We work for and are funded by the FBI laboratory in Quantico, Virginia, and we are uh, mainly trained to locate and recover evidence in such a way that it can be transported back to the laboratory for analysis and hopefully be used as evidence in a prosecution. The most important skills we use in our job as FBI divers, number one, is a comfort level in the water. You have to be able to work in the water. It's now your workplace. You have to you know, treat it as your workplace. You have to be very comfortable in, in working with tools, in working with lift bags, in working with large objects sometimes that are moving around underwater. So you have, the comfort level in the water is, is the main, main skill set that we look for and that we try to foster and, and, and further as an FBI diver. Beyond that, um, you definitely need uh, to handle yourself in high-stress situations because sometimes we find ourselves in those both underwater and topside where you have to work as a team and you have either a deadline or you have a high-profile case that you're working on that has a lot of stress related to it. So you need to be able to work in a high-stress, teamwork, team-oriented environment. A typical day on the dive job in the FBI um, really consists of us arriving at the dive scene and going to work in our different functions and everybody has an assigned function so as soon as we hit the ground they begin to work on whatever their assigned function is to set up the dive site so once the dive site's set up the divers can get in the water while the two divers are usually working as buddy pair together in the water doing their job running their patterns their grid searches or whatever they're doing there's usually at least four to six of us up top supporting them very actively and very focused while, so they can do their job underwater. The tasks that we often are uh, assigned as FBI divers is basically evidence recovery. So we're looking for anything from a gun to a knife to a body. It could be a victim or other evidence. It could be uh, jewelry or a wristwatch. It could be something that was taken off a victim and thrown in the water. It could be anything from as small as a, 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 a wristwatch to as large as a, an aircraft. Uh, and in, anything in between. The FBI's underwater evidence program consists of a field program which are the underwater search and evidence response teams and there are four of those in New York, Los Angeles, Miami and Washington DC. There is also the technical dive team which is eight full-time divers and two full-time support people uh, that are based in Quantico, Virginia, or Fredericksburg, Virginia actually, at our operational response center and they are uh, technical divers that have more advanced technical capabilities than the field. The longest diving operation I've been on in the FBI has been the TWA Flight 800 crash in 1996 off the coast of Long Island, New York. It happened on July 17th, which was two days before the opening ceremony for the Atlanta Olympics. So at the time, it was believed it could possibly be a terrorism act uh, directed at the Olympics or as a diversion uh, before an attack at the Olympics. So there was a lot of high-profile attention paid to that, that recovery. Beyond that, it happened to be a 747, which is the largest aircraft, commercial aircraft in the, in the air at the time. It was carrying 230 people aboard, and it crashed 11 miles out in the ocean. Um, it required a tremendous amount of dive assets. The Navy brought up two recovery ships. We had all local, state, and federal law enforcement in the Northeast helping us, hundreds of divers, and it lasted for over four months. The FBI dive teams sometimes get uh, involved in 
some high profile cases of national significance because a call goes out for assistance and whether it be for a specialized piece of equipment that we have or simply additional divers are needed then we can go and travel and, and help out. For example, we helped in the 2003 space shuttle crash in East Texas when we were uh, called in to help NASA recover some parts of the shuttle that had landed on the water and we recovered those. Um, 2007 we went to Minneapolis where the I-35 bridge had collapsed um, and we assisted the Army Corps of Engineers and the Navy in, in that uh, mission and uh, a high profile criminal matter like the Lacey Peterson case in Northern California um, where we went up to Richmond Bay and spent some time uh, searching in Richmond Bay for the victim in that case. The best thing I like about my job is that I get to spend time underwater. I get paid to be diving and uh, the second thing is I really enjoy being part of a special group of people, part of this team, dedicated professionals who also love to be underwater and we do uh, what we consider very important work underwater and we all enjoy it and being part of that team, being part of a special group of dedicated people who just love to be in and around and underwater, um, that's the best part about the job. The most unusual dangers we face, um, basically because we do our share of inland diving, which is searching lakes and rivers, ponds and streams, are uh, simply alligators, snakes, and even snapping turtles. Uh, so we're often uh, pushing our way around in swamps and, 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 and areas where we can't see, and, uh, and we sometimes, have, we sometimes uh, mistakenly or accidentally disturb an alligator or a snake and uh, it's uh, it can be pretty frightening to some people. The best advice I can give someone who wants to get into this line of work is to uh, maintain comfort level in the water, keep your diving skills, keep your love of diving really because um, you have to love diving to do this kind of diving because this is certainly not the kind of diving you choose to go on a vacation to do or things like that so really your love of diving, of any kind of diving, is crucial for, for this because if, if, the guys on, if the divers on my team really don't love diving, then they're not going to be successful. So over the long run, stay diving, keep diving, love diving, and then uh, become an FBI agent and work really hard and, and, uh, and get to one of the offices that has an FBI dive team and then try out.